uh, 9.07 in the morning, uh, Friday morning, October 1st. And we're heading out for Saskatchewan. We'll see how far we get. <laughs> We're tracking uh, the North Bay VOR here. 6,500 feet, plus 10. Two hours to Wawa. I was actually unable to get a hold of them, so I'm hoping they're alive and kicking and have fuel and stuff. Just coming up over top of a, a solid layer here. Um, looks fairly extensive. We'll have to keep an eye on this. And if there's no holes at the other end, I'll load up an approach for Wawa. Well, we're on top of a solid layer, as far as you can see in every direction. And uh, talking with North Bay Radio just a second ago, uh, their ceiling's at 1,500. And Sudbury's ceiling, as you can see, it's every direction. Sudbury's ceiling is at 1,200. Uh, where's Sudbury here? Right here. All right. But he doesn't know how much further past that this layer goes. He said essentially that, uh, I did check Wawa weather, and um, Wawa was reporting a uh, few at 4,500 and then uh, scattered uh, above that, so perfect VFR. So we'll see how long this lasts. We're 224 nautical miles back from Wawa, still at level 6,500. And of course, we still have the 32 knot headwind, so we're grounding uh, 124 right now. Okay, so uh, take a look at this. Looking out the window here, and I see, I think it's a shadow. I've been watching it for a long time, but it's a shadow. And I think it's essentially that streak of cloud atop us here, placing a shadow across this deck. And there's another one over there, which might be that contrail from that jet. I don't think these are gaps in clouds. I think these are shadows. Really cool. We're uh, one hour and 15 minutes from touchdown in Wawa. I think our cloud layer is starting to break up, which is nice, because it's been solid for two hours. You can see ahead of us there, it's starting to look like scattered cloud. And we're seeing a few holes directly below us here. No real change in the wind, uh, 26 knots on the nose, grounding 127 right now. Okay, I just got a uh, pilot report uh, from an aircraft departing Wawa. We're 70 nautical miles away right now, and uh, about 34 minutes. Um, so, you, the first thing he asked me was, uh, are you uh, VFR or IFR? And I said, well, I'm fly, fly, uh, flying VFR, but uh, I can land IFR if I need to. So, um, he said this, the clouds are right around 1,000 feet and favoring 21. And he says there's a whole bunch of hills around there. So this isn't an area where we do a blind descent. For that reason, I'm going to load up uh, the Alpha. Uh, GNS Alpha. And so by... I'll probably join via Papa Echo Lima November Uniform. What did I say? Papa Echo. There. That's how I'm going to join. So, enter. And I'm now going to go direct and execute. So let's go direct to there. And there we've just done a very minor adjustment here. 
I punched in that approach. And I'll pass the IFR over to the VFR here as well. So that's this switch here. Load it up. There we go. So I have the IFR on the VFR box as well. So that's what we're going to do. Looks like a ceiling of about a thousand feet. Okay, so we'll uh, take a look at that. But if it is crappy, we're all set up for it. Let's take a familiarize ourselves with this approach. All right. Uh, 1680. So 1700 looks like our decision. So I'm going to write down 1700. Not below 1700. Just on the approach right now, and it looks like we're just breaking out. I uh, can't go below 22 until Lima Echo Romeo Uniform Bravo. And uh, we're right here now. Uh, getting bumpy, eh? Well, you can see we've got the, uh, we've got good visual right now. And uh, some terrain alerts, uh, certainly all, all the way around us, uh, some, uh, some hills. I don't have the runway yet, so I'm going to start looking for that. Might be an idea. Well, I'm sitting on the ground in a uh, motel in um, Wawa. Um, that's as far as we got today. The um, I'll just show you the weather here. This actually, uh, well, it looks better than it than uh, what it actually is. We are sitting right here, right now, and um, I called and talked to uh, to FSS, and for the most part, they uh, slowly started to suck the life out of me. They're suggesting I'm going to be here for two days. I don't know if that's the case or not. I was trying to get up into this area here next, and then of course crossing over into uh, Saskatchewan. Unfortunately, we do have a uh, a cold front that we need to um, to get through, and they're talking about significant embedded cells. And although um, Marathon here looks green right now, um, they're an 800 foot ceiling. Just got off the phone with uh, FSS on that, and these are 300 foot ceilings over in this area. So embedded CBs and uh, everything below a thousand feet, we've decided to stay put. Well, we being me. So, while I was at the airport, another aircraft came in, Cessna 182, Colleton Ken, and they're from Manitoba, just returning from uh, Newfoundland, so I'll be having supper with them tonight. They're in the same hotel with me. And um, we'll find out about their uh, journey today uh, from uh, Eastern Ontario to Wawa. And they too are trying to, well, they're trying to get back into Manitoba. I'm going to hopefully get on to Saskatchewan. But um, no, they too have made the right decision to uh, wait for this system to pass. So we'll be looking at this over the next uh, few hours. Well, tomorrow morning, I guess. I'm hoping it's on the other side and then I can just scoot. But we'll see. Just looking at the first two legs here. Um, what is it? It's uh, eight o'clock at night, October first, and um, it looks like most of the weather has moved. I'm going to say east of us now. We're sitting here in CYXZ, Wawa. Next stop tomorrow would be. Uh, Dryden, Ontario, then on to uh, Saskatchewan. So this looks like total crap. back in the truck 
not flying. <laughs> What's the plan tonight? The Kinawabi Inn for supper. Okay, we're gonna, yeah, we don't know, uh, yeah. This is our supper? Yeah. I can never cook, so this, so is, this is a one-up. What are we cooking up? Hemp steaks. Only the best. And what are we having for dessert? Uh, donuts and chocolate ice cream pudding. Because <laughs> it's your birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> if I had a candle, I'd light it. 100, uh, 100 here, and then three of a kind is the fours. Uh, so where are my three of a kinds? And because it's fours, it counts as 400. So that is 500. These are 50 a piece, so that's 600. And I've used them all up, so I get to roll again. And, and I don't lose them now. That 600 is mine. Oh, no. 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 If, you, if you don't get a one or a five. Okay, so I have to get a one or a five on this roll, otherwise, or something else. Yeah. Or So here goes. So I'm sitting at 600 right now. Yeah, yeah, I wrote it down. And other, my other choice is I could pass it to her. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not doing that. You'd be no. nuts to give me six <laughs> yeah, dice. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't advise that. Oh, Lord. <gasps> you lost I just, it. What were you saying? <laughs> Nuts. <laughs> well, Sunday morning, aircraft is soaked, still in Wawa, about 700 foot ceiling. Going to be departing IFR for Dryden this morning. Is that the Gulf Whiskey Kilo uh, Sierra calling Toronto? Yes, Toronto, uh, good morning. It's Whiskey Killer Sierra. We're on the ramp uh, looking for IFR to uh, Dryden. Uh, Whiskey uh, Killer Sierra, sorry. And uh, how long before you'd be airborne? Uh, probably in the next 10 minutes. Okay, uh, Whiskey Killer Sierra, you are cleared to uh, Dryden uh, by Wawa, Victor 1 3 to Marathon. Uh, Victor 132 uh, Billy intersection and then direct. Uh, climb 18, 6000. Uh, the part of Wawa, proceed on course. Squadron code of 0540. And report airborne on this frequency. Uh, Clarence is capital not airborne by 134. I think it's, uh, sorry, let's make it 1405. I got everything except for the squawk and then I'll read it all back. Okay, we're clear to uh, Dryden, Wawa Victor 1-3 to the Marathon VOR, then Victor 1-3 to Bravo India Lima, India India, then direct to Dryden, climb to and maintain 6,000 squawk 0540, depart Wawa and clearance cancelled if not airborne by 1405. Whiskey Kilo Sierra, thanks and again, uh, Royal Porter. Yeah, I think you said that already. Yeah, Royal Porter Airborne, thanks. Okay, we'll give you a call airborne on uh, 24075 Whiskey Kilo Sierra. Roger. Just entering cloud as we're departing Wawa. Turn on the pitot heat here. Turn off the strobes and landing light. And we're in cloud. Climbing at uh, currently 800 feet per minute. It's getting a little bit lighter up here. We'll see how thick it is. Got the pitot heat on, got the fan on, got the fuel pump on. Whiskey Kilo Sierra, go ahead. We were airborne about two minutes ago uh, through 3500, uh, and I haven't uh, dialed in the squat code yet. Give me a minute. Okay, sure. I uh, probably wouldn't see you quite yet uh, anyway, but uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, report level at uh, 6000, please. Well, good morning. I'm uh, level 6000, um, 53 nautical miles back from Marathon. We're total IMC. Whiskey Quebec Kilo is... Uh, Below me and following the shore, their VFR. Looks like uh, 20 minutes to marathon, then we turn the corner. 
over to Bravo India Lima India India and then uh, on to uh, our destination of Dryden for today. We'll see if we go on to Yorkton after that. Nothing to see outside. All temperatures are good. Total IMC. Well, we just broke out into something kind of nice. Hopefully, uh, we have more of this. It's much more pleasant to be to have something to look at than it be in IMC the entire time. I'm now uh, 40 back from Marathon. I'll have to give them a call at 35. Give an update to uh, Toronto Center. Whiskey, Quebec Kilo, uh, Whiskey Kilo here. What's your final contact with Pig? Again, we're uh, 37 back from um, uh, Marathon at uh, 6,000. We're in the clear here. Um, bases are, are low, though. The bases are, well, I guess I'd call it the tops. The tops of the bases seem to be about two or 3,000 feet below me. we got a good VFR on top right now. Okay, Roger, we're, uh, we're only uh, 16 miles from uh, Marathon there. Uh, we're still in the clear out here. Uh, we're going to follow the shoreline a little past Marathon and, uh, and then see if we have to go up. Uh, sounds like we could go up there to 4,000 and be out of the cloud there then. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll keep you posted. I've been going uh, in and out. Um, oh, I've got to break away here. i got to give the center a call. I'll be back in a sec. Uh, center Whiskey Killer here, 35 back from uh, Marathon. Uh, whiskey uh, Kilo here. Okay, check that. Thanks. And Quebec Kilo Whiskey Killer here. I'll call you closer to Marathon. I'll just keep you updated on what we're finding. Roger. Thanks, Whiskey Quebec Kilo. Well, I'm 13 back from Marathon. And I think it's raining pretty hard. I, I honestly can't tell, though. Um, oh, it's oh no, it's letting up a little bit. Oh, and I can see a little bit again. Mostly it's just rain, but uh, I can see a little bit. Just checking things over. Oil sitting at 197. All the cylinders are cool. I can thin it out a little bit more on the fuel here. Uh, get another notch out of there. Stay below 1470 here on number two. Level at 6,000, looks like about uh, 12 miles to uh, the VOR and then a new heading. And I'm also tracking the VOR on the number two here, number two nav. And I can actually see a little bit of ground down there underneath the clouds, so it would be lovely if we uh, ended today VFR. I'd be okay with that. That's uh, satellite FM uh, weather you're getting? Yeah, XM weather. I use, uh, I'm getting ADSB weather, and because I'm so far from the States, I'm currently getting nothing. Yeah, that's the that's the problem with it. it uh, I, I get it too in the States, but I, I still like the XM better uh, even in the States. Yeah, I, I think it's a little more current than the ADSB. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's, uh, more, it's closer in than, uh, than the other. My uh, ETA for uh, Dryden right now is one hour, 36 minutes. And I'm showing one hour and 39, so you're going to beat me. Oh, I, we'll see. I, I got to do an approach and everything. Unless it's VFR there, then I'll cancel. All right. Uh, okay. Anyway, okay. about an hour and 30 minutes till I set up an approach. Take a look here. So I thought I'd take a look at what our uh, in-flight uh, food is like on this flight. So, got some celery and some uh, turkey and cheese and crackers, some Caesar salad, a Diet Coke. I don't think I'll open that in flight. I got some water down here. So I'm good. I'm set. Fuel pump on. Down to the tank. Over to the right tank. Check the fuel flow up here and turn the fuel pump off. Monitor the fuel flow. We're down to 30. And we'll write down uh, 10.58 for the tank change. We're uh, 6,000. Uh, we're 
174 nautical miles back from Dryden. One hour and 11 minutes. Got a slight, very slight headwind. We're grounding 146 knots. Sure beats being IMC. Man, we haven't seen the sunlight in, the sunlight in, uh, in three days. This is beautiful and much needed. And I can even see some colors down there. We're uh, 120 nautical miles back from Dryden, 49 minutes. Bit of a headwind, 10 knots. Grounding 145. Boy, is this a uh, pretty country. Yeah, and there's actually a bunch of roads down there if you needed some too. <laughs> Oh, I'll have to look for those. I haven't seen those yet. Uh, most of them are just logging roads, but there is lots there. Uh, Whiskey, Quebec Kilo, let me know when you're ready to copy latest weather. Go ahead. Uh, Dryden at uh, 1555 Zulu, so uh, two minutes ago. Uh, 1300 broken, 4600 overcast, temperature 14, dew point 11. Altimeter is now 3000. Visibility uh, better than nine miles, and wind is light and variable. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, must be a bank up there, because there's sure no overcast here. Roger that. Whiskey Kilo Sierra Center. I'd like to set up for the RNAV runway 30 via Bravo India Mike Golf Uniform. Whiskey Kilo Sierra, clear to Bimgu when you're ready to send to 4,000. Clear to Bimgu, and I'll let you know when, when I'm on my way down to 4,000. Whiskey Killer Sierra. Roger. Well, we're on the IFR approach. RNAV runway 30 into Dryden. And I'm descending down to 3,000 feet. It says my quadrant altitude is 2,900, but my leg altitude is 3,000, so I'm going to uh, descend down to 3,000. Hold that until Kilo India X ray Echo Golf. Looks pretty good VFR underneath, just need to get through this cloud. All right, we're inbound now. We're just inside Bravo India Mike Golf Uniform. And uh, vertical guidance has come live. So I'm gonna hold 3000 until I intercept, and then I'll track it down. And we are complete IMC right now. Looking forward to breaking out. Well, we're back in the air and uh, heading for Saskatchewan. It's kind of bumpy. We're uh, VFR this time, uh, down at uh, uh, 2,500 feet, uh, just below a cloud deck. Hopefully I can get a little bit higher if we're going across the lake here. We'll see how that unfolds. There's uh, Ken and Colette, just 100 feet uh, above us and uh, behind us, and they're heading direct to their farm. Want to check out my... Uh, my makeshift uh, sun visor. Huh? Huh? Visibility outside right now is gross. It uh, looks like we're back into smoke, and that's all I can smell is smoke. We're uh, 274 back from uh, Yorkton, Saskatchewan. We're just inside the Manitoba border. Time to have some lunch. Whiskey Kilo Sierra, uh, target uh, now uh, 12 miles off your 2 o'clock, still southbound, uh, descending out of 4,900. Okay, we checked that. We're still holding at 4.5. So let's hope we don't hit. I climbed to 4,600. This guy, center doesn't have anything on him, but I have ADSB on him. He's 500 feet below us now, assuming we're using the same altimeter setting. Zero visibility outside and, and smoke. So, he's half a mile in front of me and hopefully below me. But it looks like we missed each other. Oh, there he is. Float plane. <laughs> And 
Uh, center, Whiskey, kill us here. That was kill us here, go. Yeah, it was a float plane, went about 300 feet right underneath me. Thanks for the heads up. Okay, no problem, that's why we're here. Wow. Okay, I've got um, Lake Winnipeg right in front of me here. And uh, so I've decided to, uh, for the crossing, I'm going to pop up to, uh, to 65. Uh, so I'm in a gradual climb right now, a cruise climb, just 250 or 300 feet per minute kind of thing, uh, up to 6.5. And uh, it's actually, the visibility is better. I'm above the smoke at 6.5. Very prominent smoke. I might spend the rest of the day up here. I know it's a strong headwind, but don't really care. At least I can see something. Okay, there may or may be, may or may not be something that I'm looking at. I'm supposed to be looking at the Gimli glider, Gimli airfield. Oh yeah, I can see it there now. Yorkton, automated weather observation system. Observation taken at 1921 Zulu, wind 230 at 11, gusting 16, visibility greater than niner, ceiling 23,000 broken. Temperature 2-1. So, look at this here. That line there is uh, the Saskatchewan Hello, border. Uniform, Roger, and you have the taxing 182 visual? We're listening to uh, Regina Radio, who is uh, doing a, a remote uh, mandatory frequency for Yorkton right now. Anyway, I just wanted to draw attention to this line. Echo Kilo, Roger, report airport. Because if you look outside, it's starting, other than the smoke, it's starting to look like Saskatchewan. It's tremendous to be able to see these plowed and uh, seeded fields. You know, lots of places to land. So we're 61 nautical miles back. Looks like uh, just under 30 minutes. And break break, November Whiskey Uniform, taxi at your discretion, report ready for takeoff. Listening to AWOS and listening to Regina Radio, it looks like 22 is active. Well, inside Saskatchewan, and the smoke is starting to clear, I'm at 6,500. And break break, Whiskey Kilo Sierra, Regina Radio, no pertinent traffic, report joining the circuit runway 22. Okay, we checked that, just inside 10 miles, uh, 9.4 miles, ETA, uh, just inside 4 minutes, we'll be joining a left base for runway 22. Whiskey Kilo Sierra, Roger.
Well, due to IFR weather at Wawa and Marathon, I'm going north. And I'm heading for Geraldton. So we're well established on that route. And uh, currently just 34 minutes back from uh, Geraldton. And I'm coming up, looks like I'm going to be crossing Lake Nipigon, which I have never done. Uh, descending out of 7500 into Geraldton, Ontario. We're joining a uh, left downwind runway 26. Not sure what the cloud cover is between here and uh, and arm prior. I know it's a long leg. 502, I think. 501 nautical miles. That's a long leg. It'll put me there just after darkness. Well, we'll turn the pedo heat on as we uh, descend into Charlton. Shouldn't be too thick. Bumpy though. Now I'm starting to see a little bit of the ground. Back into the soup, a little more of the ground. There you go. Good VFR. Anyway, we're 368 nautical back from arm prior. Doing 157 knots. Clear skies. There is nothing here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. This uh, whole area was IFR, so I had to. I had to uh, go far north. A 300 foot ceiling here, 500 foot ceiling there. So I went north. Well, supper time. Got a potato. <laughs> Can't eat with a mic. Well, just an update on our position. We're 100 nautical miles back from arm prior, 40 minutes. Doing 155 knots, grounding 151. We're level 7,500. I'm on the uh, second tank for the second time. So I'm 17 minutes shy of uh, two hours on that tank. I have 22 liters left in it. I'm gonna run it down to five liters before I switch over to uh, the left tank for landing. Uh, we're currently burning 30 liters or 31 liters per hour. And as you can see, I've got 67 liters left and uh, only 39 minutes. So uh, we got lots of fuel. I have deviated from the uh, path here to go around this airspace. CYR restricted 540. It's uh, from 3,000 feet up to flight level 180. So as you can see here, I have deviated off of it. I'll just hit the track here. There you go. Just bump it over a little bit. Once I get around that, I can go back on course. Life in the cockpit. Uh, sun visor hung up over there. Essentially my approach plates. Nice evening flight, perhaps a little tired of flying. After seven hours of flying, we're in our descent into arm prior, just out of 7,500. 28.6 nautical miles back. Gonna burn the uh, left tank down to five liters, currently sitting at uh, nine. And then switch to the right tank for uh, 
landing. Beautiful evening, but time to get out of the airplane. Traffic vicinity of Arm Prior, it's uh, Charlie Golf, Whiskey, Kilo Sierra. We're 15.5 nautical miles to the west, descending out of 5,000 feet. Estimating the field in six minutes, we'll be crossing over midfield, joining left downwind, runway 28. Conflicting traffic at Arm Prior, it's Charlie Golf, Whiskey, Kilo Sierra.